in the beginning it's, it's floral and fresh. Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a new, not only a new bottle, but also a new distillery on my cask. It's the Nantou distillery in Taiwan. Um, this is the second distillery which showed up globally from Taiwan. The first one uh, delivers the Kavalan whiskies, which are very, very expensive and got the best results. Um, and this one is cheaper, around 80 euros, pounds, dollars. Uh, it's matured in ex-bourbon casks. It's 46% ABV. It's unchill filtered, but I'm not clear. it's not clear whether it's colored or not. Um, and it shows no age statement on it. And here on the tube it says this golden sticker here on top. Spirit Selection by Concours Mondial de Bruxelles. So this is one of the, well, not that well-known medals they got. Gold medal 2015. Uh, the whiskey is called Omar. Yeah. And this has nothing to do with the Arabian name uh, or the city in the US, no. Um, this is uh, Gallic and means amber. Uh, our single malt whiskey, bourbon type, is distilled and bottled in Taiwan. The taste is smooth with the flavors of floral, vanilla and citrus. It's the best choice for you, the best whiskey in the world. No, they do not write it here, but there's another whiskey out, out there which calls itself the best whiskey in the world. Um, yeah, in former times, uh, these uh, Nantou whiskies uh, were single casks. With these 46% ABV, I, I'm not quite sure if those are single casks. On the back, there is a, uh, a date. <laughs> no, not on the tube, on the bottle. Um, and the date says uh, June the 1st, 2016. So it might be a single cask. Yeah. Uh, the Nantou distillery uh, has four pot stills, quite huge, big ones, uh, in the Scottish style. And its uh, location is very much in the south. So it's 23 degrees, degrees northern uh, latitude, altitude. Um, so 23 degrees north of the equator. And uh, so there is a, a very hot climate around the distillery. So they only produce between October and April. So in the summertime they do not produce because probably they have too, uh, too few water. And uh, yeah, there had been a distillery in, in, in Scotland, the Banff distillery, uh, which was cl which always closed over the summer due to water shortages and uh, the cooling wasn't that ex effective and the malt wasn't that good. Uh, the distillery was founded in 1978 and produced its first whiskey in 2008. 1978 to 2008, what <laughs> have they done in between? I have no idea. In the beginning, it's, it's floral and fresh. Then there's more malt in it. And then starting sweet, honey, and vanilla. So I have no idea how old this whiskey is. So when they started 2008, uh, the oldest possible whiskey might be eight years or seven years. Yeah, it's a, it's a pleasant nose. Yeah, quite typical for a Scottish whiskey. Yeah, they import the barley from Scotland, the cask from the US, <laughs> they just produce in Taiwan and then ship it back to the Western world. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. The beginning, mild, mellow, and then citrus fruits is kicking in. Sweet, good aftertaste developing, quite massive, no bitterness, very good. Round and full. I like that. So for the first uh, whiskey from this Nantou distillery, the first Omar I have, it's a good one, yes. They did their homework. Mm -hmm. So this Omar whiskey is definitely a buy. And uh, yeah, there's a second one, sherry cask matured. I will have shortly here on my cask. And as always, stay tuned. Feel free to share this video and give me a, your thumbs up if you like it. <laughs>